Okay, so my next video is just basically about uh, passing distance, okay? Now, quite a common mistake with beginner teams is basically, particularly on the roll ball, right? So some people just, they haven't got quite like the, the passing distance me where they might require. So if one player in the team hasn't got like a great pass, okay? So the ball will come in here, the defensive line's a bit high at this point in time, so we'll move them back, the roll, the dummy half picks up the ball, the team comes up okay now what can sometimes happen is basically if if the team isn't spaced like you got to use all your space basically i believe in having like if everybody in the team has a large pass as in a good like good 10 to 10 foot pass at least you know that's if you're comfortable passing a pace over that distance what it does is it causes the defense to be separated more so if you look at this person here it's marked but girls marked but the girl the guy is marked but the guy okay now what happens is if p these people are too close together okay so basically they don't really very narrow okay what this will do is will clog up the line okay so you notice that it's very narrow there's no space really to be going into the ball comes out all these guys run together even if they're in a staggered formation right they run up together they're basically in each other's way okay they're basically causing the the distance between the two defenders is tiny so the ball comes through at this point in time it's almost too late the person gets the ball tries to make a break for it okay so they're trying to make a break with the ball there's basically no space to go into and you're always going to get tagged in that situation okay now if you're to repeat this procedure again okay in team that's let's be honest a bit more advanced because everybody in the team should be able to pass a, like a much bigger distance you can move your winger out to basically what a winger is meant to do the wing okay and you're going to move your defensive line back okay now what this will do is this will have the effect of basically spreading out the defense okay so you notice that the gap between the defenders now which is located here is much small is much bigger okay so another thing that you gotta know is like here there's an extra defender here okay this is the, just the marker now if the ball comes out and it's past only a short distance okay it's only past a short distance this marker is right on top of the runner before they even get the ball sometimes okay so basically what can move faster the ball or the the marker in general if you have a fast pass the ball will move a lot faster so this person here is confident in the dummy half's ability to throw a long pass okay so they're in their standard triangle formation the ball gets thrown out okay now you can notice there's a considerable distance for the marker to run okay so the so another thing that has to be done as well is you should always be hitting the ball at pace okay so even if you go a bit deeper than you did originally okay what you can do here is basically once the ball gets uh gets uh rolled back and touched by a dummy half these people come on with speed okay they come on hard with speed so the ball is almost thrown flat or s slightly back but flat they're coming on with speed the marker hasn't got enough time really to to accelerate so at this point in time the the offensive line should be well able to cope with the marker okay so maybe even just run slightly diagonally okay now what you're going to notice is that there's a big gap between players okay so what you may do okay is you can you can draw your defender in so you might want to strain up your run a little you do not want to run into your man because you're basically clogging up the space okay if you run the ball into your into your uh at your 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 own teammate okay you're basically clogging up the space okay so if you were to straighten up your run okay so you're straightening up your run so you're is you're going to take in your own marker okay so what you can do is you can just you can just stay just slightly on the inside you can throw a ball and now there's a much bigger gap to be running into okay now another thing you may want to do is if you wait too long and you start running early the marker will run across as well okay so what you might want to do as the person who's receiving the ball is you may want to draw your marker out a little 
make it a bigger gap, okay? And only change direction at the point at which the ball is about to be thrown. You gotta let the the ball handler know like you want it at that point. So you're running together, okay? The two of you are sort of linked together. You're getting marked wherever you go, okay? Then last second, because this is a suitably big gap, you can now make your step. Call for the ball, ball comes in, and then you're going at enough pace to carry through a very large gap. Now, what can sometimes happen is if the if the ball handler waits too late sometimes, right, you have to slow your run. When you call it and the ball handler doesn't throw it, you have to slow your run. And this basically gives the defenders enough time. So if the ball handler makes a move instead of passing the ball, okay, so you're trying to make a move, it slows up play. The person receiving the ball has to slow down and it gives the defenders time to get across. The ball throws it anyway. You haven't got pace. You haven't got pace built up and basically it's going to be an easy tag because you're 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 in here and there isn't much of a gap okay